Hey guys, Travis here from Travis.media. A uh, quick video here to show you how to create a custom checkbox in Gravity Forms. If you've ever created one, it takes the browser default, which looks like this. But we want it to look a little better, so I'm going to show you how to make it look like this. Okay? Um, and this is real easy, three simple steps. I've given you the CSS code that you can actually paste in yourself. So, three steps. Create a form and add a checkbox. So, um, if we create a simple form, uh, drag in an, you know, a name, uh, an email, and the checkbox. So if we add a checkbox, um, and let's say we want it to say um, subscribe to our newsletter. Let's get rid of these. Let's type that in. Uh, make it checked by default. Remove this field label and hit update it's going to look a little something like this okay subscribe to our newsletter and in a um actual post it's going to look like this so here's a little test post that i did to show you so see that ugly blue box that is chrome um, other browsers will do it a little differently but let me show you the next step all right so we created a form we added a checkbox next step is to add the class single column form to the entire form. Now you can choose any class, you can make up a name, but my CSS reflects this specific um, class name. So you can use it for now, update it later. So um, I made it a single column form is what I typed in here. If you go back to your form, you go up here to edit, I mean, go to settings and form settings you're going to see here CSS class name. This is for your entire form layout. Enter in single column form here. Um, and then the final step is to, where am I at? Final step is to enter in this CSS code. And um, you can look through it. It's pretty basic. But if you don't understand it, just highlight the whole thing. Actually, I think it's a little bit easier. Yeah, just highlight the whole thing. Copy it. And let's go to our, there's the actual, yeah, um, let's go to our editor and let's go to the bottom, oops, and let's just add in that entire block of CSS and let's update the file and let's go back, hit refresh. And look at that. Beautiful. It's got a little animation in it too. So from here you can take it, you can make this round, you can change its size, change its color, however you like, but hopefully that helps. And let me know if you have any questions.